Welcome to East West Horizon. This is California. I'm Sylvia Tian. President Joe Biden said on Wednesday, the U.S. government will forgive $10,000 in student loans for many debt-saddled college graduates, a move that could boost support for his fellow Democrats in the November congressional elections, but also may fuel inflation and increase the U.S. deficit. Provide student debt relief, and I'm honoring that commitment today. Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. In addition, students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. Both of these targeted actions are for families who need it the most, working and middle-class people hit especially hard during the pandemic, making under $125,000 a year. The current debt is left to next generations to pay off. It shows that the ruling party is continuing to shirk its responsibilities, sending money to buy votes without the accountability to manage America's credit and deficit. Of course, everyone is also happy for the college students who can get student loan relief, which are the hardworking young people and are the hope for the American future. Canceling the debt will free up hundreds of billions of dollars for new consumer spending that could be aimed at house buying, according to economists who said this would add a new wrinkle to the country's inflation fight. Many Democrats had pushed for Biden to forgive as much as $50,000 per borrower, but cheered his action. Republicans seeking to regain control of Congress in November opposed the move, arguing it is unfair because it will disproportionately help people earning higher incomes. U.S. consumers carry a massive $1.75 trillion in student loan debt most of it held by the federal government. The result of university tuition fees substantially higher than the most other rich countries. Biden's administration will extend it. A COVID-19 pandemic linked a pause on student loan repayment to the end of the year, while forgiving 10,000 in student debt for borrowers whose income falls below $125,000 a year or $250,000 a year for a married couple, the White House said. The forgiveness could impact 8 million borrowers automatically. The Department of Education said, while well, others would need to apply for forgiveness. The government is also forgiving up to $20,000 in debt for recipients of federal Pell Grants. Some 6 million students from low-income families and is proposing a new rule that protects some income from repayment plans and forgives some loan balance after 10 years of repayment, the Education Department said. Cutting $10,000 in federal debt for every student would amount to $321 billion of federal student loans and eliminate the entire balance for 11.8 million borrowers, or 31% of them. A New York Federal Reserve study shows borrowers' balance have been frozen since the beginning of COVID-19 outbreak, with no payments required on most federal student loans since March 2020. Students from across the United States welcomed the announcement from President Joe Biden Wednesday to cancel billions of dollars in student debt. A psychology major at Harvard University, Monist Cardell, said a weight was lifted off her shoulders as the $20,000 of erased debt would mean relief for her whole family. James Gore, a media and film major, told Reuters he supported the measure even though he didn't have any pending loans being a scholarship athlete. Given the stress that can cause in many people, the measure means a little bit of breathing room, according to the computer science major, Jet Raid.
The government will cancel ten thousand dollars in student loan debt for borrowers, making less than one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year, or two hundred fifty thousand dollars for coupled students. Students who receive Pell grants, low-income federal loans to benefit lower-income college students, will have twenty thousand dollars of their debt canceled. Canceling ten thousand dollars in student loan debt for every borrower would cost the U.S. government three hundred twenty-one billion dollars. The New York Fed calculated in April, but the income cap means the actual cost will be lower than that. The New York Fed estimated that for giving ten thousand dollars per borrower would eliminate student debt for eleven point eight million borrowers, or thirty-one percent of the total number. The White House said that that figure would be 20 million borrowers. Nearly 90 percent of those borrowers will make under $75,000 a year. The White House said U.S. borrowers hold about $1.75 trillion in student debt. According to the latest Federal Reserve figures, the vast majority of that, some $1.62 trillion, is held by the federal government. Former U.S. Treasury Secretary Larry Summers disagreed. He said on Twitter that debt relief consumers' resources that could be better used at helping those who did not, for whatever reason, have the chance to attend college. It will also tend to be inflationary by raising tuitions. Similarly, Jason Furman, a Harvard professor who headed the Council of Economic Advisers during the Obama. Administration said debt cancellation would nullify the deflationary powers of the Inflation Reduction Act, pouring roughly half trillion dollars of gasoline on the inflationary fire that is already burning is reckless, he said. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for being with us. I will see you next time.